Hi, I want to show you how to use a cloud-based imaging system to process images. It's fairly learnable, fairly easy to use, and it's a nice way to crop for specifications and do some image transformation. So uh, where, where I'm starting is I've gone out to Google Images. I've searched for a, you know, commercial transformation license okay to do image. Um, here it is. <clears throat> and I've downloaded it. It's in my uh, download directory. I've renamed it cherryblossom.jpg. And now I am going to work on it. Now the place I want to, what I'm trying to make with it is a background for this this could be like a portfolio home page. So if you look at this uh, in full page view, I have basically taken a bootstrap um, template and I've done just a little bit of uh, CSS on it to give it this red background and the black print. And what I want to do is put a background in here that is sort of a light uh, lightened a photograph of, cher of a cherry blossom or a, a bunch of cherry blossoms. So I've got this cherry blossom image and what I'm going to do and then I've downloaded it I'm going to pull it into Cloudinary and now Cloudinary is something you can sign up for free and if I go to the dashboard here you can see that you can actually get lots of free space for them if you want to share it with your friends on a social media you know, you can get a gig of storage, but so it's and it's it's free, so it's 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 nice in that way. Um, and so from the dashboard here, I I'm going to go to Browse Media Library. You can see I've uploaded some pictures before, but I'm going to upload this one that I just pulled off the web, this cherry blossom, and it's it's in there. And so now that I have uploaded it. I am going to click on it and go and do some transformation. And let's say I have a specification that I need like say 740 wide uh, by um, 400. So, so like I, I either got that from a template or somebody told me that I needed that or I just decided that this is the size that I, I wanted. So let's say I, I just type in 740 by 400 I'm going to leave it scaled so that I don't run into uh, strange, you know, sh uh, ooh, that doesn't look good. Let's try, oh, what? that's not what I wanted to. I don't want to scale it to that. I wanted to crop it to that. So going back, cropping it, that's what I want. So you, the cropping is what will give me that image of that size, and it'll just kind of take a section out of my picture. So if you, like, look at this photo and then look up here, you can see I've just kind of cropped out this a center of it. Uh, there are a lot of options and you know for whatever time you have you can kind of play around with them. Um, let's say I make the center the focal point and I'm not going to do any look and feel here but I want to what I really want to uh, transform is the opacity. So let's say I set the opacity down around 49 because what I'm trying to do is get a lighter picture so that I can put it in the background and it and the text can go on top of it and still be readable. So let's take it down to 33. Okay, so that looks good to me. Now the way this works is this I can either I can take this this cloud uh, URL here and I can paste it in and have this image serve from the cloud. And I think that's what I'm going to do for now. Um, I could also um, save that image. But there's one more thing to look at here. If we, if we go, I think, to this view full size image. Okay, you can see what it looks like, full size. Um, but if I click on this URL, okay, I get that. Um, there is one more thing that I can do view derived images. So this button here. So if I click on that, this is a way that I can actually look at some this image with some different properties. So here 
if I view this, I'm getting the opacity at 33%, and it, it describes what it's doing in these different transformations. So I can view the image. And so, so what I what you do is, you know, there's no science to it really. You just kind of go for what you what you think might work for you, and then take a look at it and verify that it's what you're looking for. So in this case, I kind of like this one that really light image. So I'm just going to copy that URL into my buffer, go back to code pen, go to the editor, and you can see I've already done a little bit of CSS in here. Oops. And um, I think I have a URL. Yes, I have a URL, but I haven't filled it in. So I will just post that in there and save it and look at it in full page view. And then you can see that I've got that now as a background. Um, so I can continue to serve it from, from the cloud like that. But let's say I, I might use this in a demo or I, I want to be sure that this is always going to work for me. I don't want to be dependent on the web or, or this cloudinary site being up. So I can actually, so I, I can actually, uh, actually, this is the way to do it. What I want to do is to save this image and load it into my project, wherever that might be. So just to get a, an image out of this, I can go back to Cloudinary, do a save as image, and let's just say my cherry box. And that will save it to my hard drive. And at that point, I could load that into my project, upload it, and I have that as an image. Right size, right uh, opacity. All right, hope that helps. See ya.